was uh, not what we needed from Joe Biden, and it's personally painful for a lot of people. It's not just panic, it's pain of what we saw tonight. Making sure that we continue to strengthen our health care system, making sure that we're able to make every single solitary person uh, eligible for what I've been able to do with the, uh, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Thank you, President uh, Biden. President Trump? Well, anyway, that's what you're, anyway. Just take a look at what he says he is and take a look at what he is. Look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. The re I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, and well, by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? What's the biggest lie that he's a six handicap of all? I was an eight handicap. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, but, but I had, you know, how many? How, I've what, seen you swing. I know you swing. Let's not act like children. There, there is no two ways about it. That was not a good debate for Joe Biden. Ben? Um, that was painful. Uh, I love Joe Biden. I work for Joe Biden. Um, he didn't do well at all. Uh, he, he did not do well at all. And he looked... You know, I'll give you the analysis, you know, kind of have the old man versus the con man. Uh, I can walk you through how I'm supposed to see it and say it, but I just want to speak from my heart. Um, I love that guy. That's a good man. He loves his country. Uh, he's doing the best that he can. Uh, but he had a test to meet tonight uh, to restore confidence uh, uh, of, of the country and of the base, and he failed to do that. And I think there's a lot of people who are going to want to see him consider um, taking a different course now. Uh, we're still far from our convention, and there is time for this party to figure out a different way forward if he will allow us to do that. Um, but that was uh, not what we needed from Joe Biden, and it's personally painful for a lot of people. It's not just panic, it's pain -changing of what we saw tonight. In the sense that right now, as we speak, there is a deep, a wide, and a very aggressive panic in the Democratic Party. It started minutes into the debate, and it continues right now. It involves party strategists. It involves elected officials. It involves fundraisers. And they're having conversations about the president's performance, which they think was dismal, which they think will hurt other people down the party in the ticket. And they're having conversations about what they should do about it. Some of those conversations include, should we go to the White House and ask the president to step aside? Others are, other of the conversations are about, should prominent Democrats go public with that call? because they feel this debate was so terrible. Uh, they do say in, in moments in the debate later, the president got better and got his footing. But then at the end, even his closing statement was a little halting. The One of the things that uh, notoriously Democrats are known for, some of us like to hand, wring our hands. It's not time to wring hands. It's about rolling up your sleeves to do the work. It is time to do this work. This election has, was always going to be close, and it's going to be close. And that means we've got to put in the hard work and the efforts to make sure that we win this. Because it's not just about Democrats winning. It's about Americans' freedom. All of those things are on the ballot. They're on the line. The leader mentioned it, and I'll turn it over to her as well. But all of those things are on the, on the ballot. When Donald Trump became president, women in all 50 states had control over their own bodies. And now... Because of his appointments to the Supreme Court, they don't. In many states, including Georgia and South Carolina, that is the impact of putting a Donald Trump back into the White House. And to give him an opportunity to put two or three more justices on the Supreme Court, we won't allow that to happen because this is the thing. Freedom is not free. The cost of it is not free. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears go, go, goes into securing freedoms. And it's also a slippery slope. You allow one freedom to be lost, it's very easy to take away another. Uh, as a black man who grew up in South Carolina, raised by two grandparents who went through Jim Crow, I had to tell you this, this is my promise. This is not about Joe Biden and Democrats and this and that. I think about my two boys. I will fight with every breath in my body not to make sure, to make sure that my sons don't have to live in a world like my grandparents live. And that's what this election is about for me. It's not about Democrats versus Republicans. It's about the freedom and the future of this great nation.